Hey guys, what's up? Raging Archer Productions here. And I just wanted to make a video real quick updating you guys on what I've done so far and how far along I am in making um, Lego Captain America Conspiracy. And I thought I'd make this real quick video just to uh, give you guys an update because I haven't uploaded a video in over two weeks as of the time of recording this, which is quite a long time. So, yeah. So, I just kind of wanted to start off with um, this first. I haven't actually started filming. I know it's surprising because I've been working on this thing for like a month. But believe it or not, the pe for the past month, I've actually just been writing like my makeshift screenplay. Which before any of my stop motions, I know I've said this in other videos, but before any of my stop motions, I write like a... Uh, a makeshift kind of screenplay where I just write everything that's happening in every scene, you know, from beginning to end. And I kind of, you know, summarize what some characters are going to say. So summarize what's happening. And I basically write like a summary of what's going to happen in the video. And then when I film, I start to, you know, make up exactly what the characters are saying. But basically, I make this makeshift screenplay so that I, uh know exactly what's going to happen in the film so I'm not basically winging it when I'm filming but basically the past month I have been writing and I haven't filmed anything so I know some of you guys might be worried or shocked or upset that I haven't started filming because that means it's going to come up uh, a lot later than I thought it would but I'm going to get to that to this second and uh, I want to say I'm not finished writing, which is, I know, surprising because I've been doing, I've been writing this for over a month or about a month. And don't worry, I'm almost finished, all right? But I've written so much, as you'll see um, in this little clip coming up here, that I actually filled the rest of my booklet. Like, I finished the rest of my, like, I wrote, I've used all the pages in my little screenplay writing booklet so i'm actually gonna have to get another booklet to finish this in but i'm almost finished and just to tell you the amount of pages i've covered in this booklet to finish it i've used 36 pages 36 pages now if you saw the spaces between my writing and i think that's a lot but just for comparison if you guys remember Lego Superman Episode 2, Peace in America, that was, when I wrote that, that, that was an hour long. But when I wrote the makeshift screenplay for that, it, was, it took up 20 pages. So, since I'm not even finished, but I'm close to finishing, and it's taken up 36 pages, and a 20-page makeshift screenplay was an hour, I'm thinking that this is going to be like a pretty much a full feature Lego stop motion film when it comes out to like time span. Because I've had this idea in my head for a, a while now, like for this film. And I this is really, this is quite my best work. Like I said, some of my best like story writing was in Lego Superman episode two. But this is probably going to beat that. Like this is going to beat that type of like story writing. Like, this has got a really good story. It really it progresses along very well. And it's just, the story's magnificent. Now, of course, this is going to be a, it might be a little offensive to some people. And this is 100% controversial. I'm not going to beat around the bush. This is, this film's going to be 100% controversial. Some people might not like it, but... Before it comes out, and I'll probably put something like in the start of the film to remind people this, but this is all fiction. I'm not saying any of the stuff in this like film actually happened. It's all fiction. It's all made to be fake, all right? So basically take everything with a grain of salt and don't get too butthurt over it. But this isn't the first time I've uploaded a controversial stop motion. I mean, my... Uh, Peace in America, like Superman episode two, Peace in America was quite controversial, I considered. And people seem to enjoy that one too, but this one's a lot more controversial, might be a lot more offensive, and people will probably get 
pretty mad at this, but this is going to be a full feature film, and it's going to be one of my best works I've ever done, Story as of story-wise. Because I've taken a lot of inspiration for this from uh, movies like Captain America the Winter Soldier, and I've taken inspiration for this from uh, real-life events that happen, and, you know... Basically, real like real life, a lot of real life events inspired you know what happened this in this and this the as far as like the story plot, I've really taken inspiration for that from Captain America: The Winter Soldier film, and you know I think it really fit into this you know beautifully. It really fit into this very well, and you know. I think if you guys basically take everything with a grain of salt and you know just take everything at face value and, you know, don't really think too much. Well, you got to think a lot. You got to think into it because it's a film, but basically like if you take anything that may, if you just don't consider anything that may offend you and you just watch the film just for the sake that it's a film, you will enjoy it. I guarantee you, you will see, dang, this is, this is a better story than the entire Star Wars sequel trilogy. (laughs) But then again, it's not hard to beat that, but, uh, Wow, look at that. I'm already getting controversial. I'm calling the sequels garbage, even though a lot of people think the sequels are garbage. They are garbage. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. Basically, if you want to know when this film's probably going to release, I'm pretty sure it's going to release sometime in the summer. I'd have to guess maybe sometime in July. Maybe August. I'm not sure. But sometime in the summer, definitely. Not before June, I'll tell not before July, I'll tell you that. It's not going to come before July. Basically, I'm just going to finish up this writing. And I'm going to start filming like crazy. And I'll try and get some trailers out to you guys to keep your interest in this. And then I'll release it. And I'm definitely going to do a premiere because this is definitely going to be... If I had to guess how long this is going to be, I probably like an hour and a half. At most two hours. Probably no longer than that. But this is definitely going to be quite a long, like a full feature, like movie. Which I never thought I'd be. I never thought I'd make a stop motion longer than episode two. But here I am about to do it again. But uh, yeah, that's all I really got to say about the development. A lot of writing. I'm going to finish it in the next few days. I'll upload a video telling you guys when I finished writing. And yeah, you guys will probably get excited. And I might upload a teaser along with that. But, uh, yeah. If you made this this far in the video, thank you so much. Your, you know, watching the, fi- the video this far really supports my channel and helps me get out there in the YouTube algorithm. If you made it this far, I want you to put down in the comments what you guys think of me. Because I was thinking about this recently. It made me very curious. Um, I haven't done a face reveal. And I probably won't for a while. But it never occurred to me that, you know, since I haven't made a face reveal, you guys have only had my voice to base, you know, what I look like off of. So I want you to put down in the comments, put in the comments a description of what you think I look like. You know, do you think I have blonde hair or dark hair? or Do you think I'm a little four foot midget or a big giant seven foot beast like LeBron James or something? Or, you know, do you think I'm, you know, some super scrawny kid who, you know, just gets picked on all the time in school? Or do you think I'm some super jacked, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger or the Rock, like, Dwayne the Rock Johnson freaking beast built? But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified of when I upload a video. Also, if you want to support the channel further, because I'm probably going to need some money to make this full feature movie. Go uh, support me on Patreon at Raging Oak Street Productions. I'll provide a link for that in the description below. Also, be sure to go follow me on Twitch at Raging Oak Tree. I'll probably stream a little bit on Twitch when this video drops. Or soon after the video drops. So go follow me on Twitch at W at twitch.tv slash raging oak tree now yeah that's all i got that's all i gotta say guys thank you so much for watching you guys are all absolute legends peace out